My microphone is on before I start talking shit. Yeah, the motherfucker's on. It's on. Cause when it's on, it's on. Oh, shit. Look like I just hopped out of that motherfucking hyperbolic time chamber on your ass. Look at that shit, motherfucker. Shit. Ooh, shit. Alright. Now. This video is about SARMs. Is SARMs killing you? Now, I'm on a bunch of forums on Facebook. I wouldn't say forums, I, I call them groups. Where people are talking about SARMs pretty much 24 seven. That's the SARMs group. And um, some of the shit that I'm seeing in there, man, it, it's pretty ridiculous, man. It's like guys are relying on SARMs as if it's food. You know what I'm saying? Every other thing, well, it's a SARMs page, you know, so everything should be about SARMs. But some of the shit that I'm seeing these people saying, man, they're just, you know, it's like they can't work out. They can't even enter the gym unless they have some SARMs inside of their system. And I see some guys, they're praising it, man. They're coming up, you know, I think a lot of them are like plants. Plant like meaning they're planted there to try to, you know, hype this shit up. Because I've seen a lot of people, I've even seen, um, even Nick Strength and Power has says, you know, SARMs really don't do shit. It's a watered down version of steroids. Um, it's supposed to do all these amazing things and not mess with organs and this and that. Bottom line is, like I've said before in videos, the shit has been known to give you cancer, certain SARMs. Um, it hasn't been tested on humans. It's only been tested on um, albino rats and mice, whatever the fuck. So, you know, people are, you know, within the next, you know, in 2018, within the next 12 months, we're going to see a lot of different cases coming out. Despite we're still going to have the, um, the fake news type of people saying how great these things are because most of their gains, trust me, if you're taking SARMs, and you're probably taking a bunch of other shit too. So you're not getting the growth that you're seeing from the SARMs, you're getting it from the other shit. No one's just on SARMs alone, you know what I'm saying? If you're dumb enough to take that shit, you're probably taking testosterone, IGF, Decatran, Anavar, the whole nine. So over these next few months, or the course of the year 2018, we're gonna see a lot of people you know, voicing what's really going on. We're going to see a lot of fluff. We're going to see a lot of people coming out saying, hey, man, I'm having these health side effects. Because, like, no one knows what it does. You know, common sense, you know what it does to the human body. But no one knows, you know, from a scientific point of view because there aren't any human studies because the FDA won't allow you to study this bullshit on people. It's just, you know, that's, that's the ethics lawsuit waiting to happen. So, you know... Like I said, all the tests were on mice. A lot of these mice are getting cancers. Just like um, the documentary GMO, oh my God. They were testing a lot of these um, different GMOs on a bunch of these rats over in, um, I believe, Europe. And they were saying, you know, look at these rats, man. They're getting tumors all on their bottom side, right? And then you go to the American laboratories and they're acting like, oh no, we're not getting anything. They're not even really testing this shit. Overseas is where, you know, a lot of the real testing goes on. And they're saying all these GMOs, you know, which is supposedly, um, if I'm correct, it's okay to sell. I mean, obviously, it's in every fucking grocery store. You got GMO apples, GMO everything. And, um, you know, despite that they find out it causes cancer overseas, we sell it over here as if that shit's cough syrup. Like, it's the cure. Like, it's good to eat when it's not. So, you got two different sides of the spectrum here. And um, so, if the GMOs are causing cancer, what do you think this non-tested SARM? is doing to people it's obviously doing something that's common sense but people like I say common sense is not all that common doing your research on this shit before you inject it into your body reading about it as much as you can that's too much like right for a lot of people a lot of people are just lazy as hell hence the reason why you're taking steroids and SARMs in the first place because we all know that building muscle is a process that takes time so anyone looking to take a steroid don't blame it on the fact that, oh, you're prepping for a show. If you're going to do a show, do it naturally. If you, you know what I'm saying? If, first of all, 
take your ego out of it. Who really wants to be on the bodybuilding stage? If you can find another way to make money, because trust me, you're not really making money anyway. It's not a prestige thing. It's like no one really cares. And I don't know any besides Mr. Olympia. There's no famous guys. And no one really gives a shit. It's all you, you know, uh, feeding your ego. So what's the point? You know what I'm saying? Unless you're doing a natural show, which chances are if you do do a natural show and you're going to a natural, you're probably the only one in there natural. Because like I said, a lot of motherfuckers are just lying. They're taking shit and they're going into natural shows anyway. So there really aren't any naturals there. You know, to get into that realm, in order to win, you're going to want that edge. So in order to get that edge over your opponents, guess what? Or your competitors, guess what? You're going to have to do whatever you want, whatever it takes for you to get that edge. Which means you're going to take some shit that will get out of your system before you test. And you're on stage flexing enhanced muscles all while lying to the people. So it, it's a really dangerous thing, man. I just want to say that, you know, like I said, over the next... 12 months, by the end of 2018, there are going to be a lot of people with a lot of side effects. A lot of it's not even going to be talked about. A lot of it's going to be swept under the rug. A lot of people are just going to suffer in silence. But it's something that's very detrimental to the health of not only the older people who are, you know, thinking that it's some kind of medical cure, you know, like, oh, it helps your testosterone, you know. Like they say, you know, you go to your doctor, you get a, test, a testosterone shot. That's you know, approved by your doctor. They run tests. They say, okay, you're 47 years old, almost 50. Your um, testosterone as a male has dropped. We're going to give you enough to bring you back to normal levels. That's all well and fine. There's nothing wrong with that. But when you're a healthy male and your testosterone is right at where it needs to be, and you're taking it for muscle enhancing purposes, that's where you're dabbling into the dark side. So, you know, I just wanted to throw that out there for the people. Just, you know, put my word out there, out there as much as possible to, to help someone. There's always someone pushing a promo code, trying to get you to buy this, that, and the third. You don't need this shit. It's not worth it. Building muscle, man. Like I said, every stitch of muscle on my frame, this is all natural muscle, man. You can get this shit. It's, you, you know, all the steroids, it's not fucking needed. So I thought I'd just give that out there, you know, get that bit of advice. Um... You know, help as many people as I can. Even if one person, you know, watches this video and they're, you know, in the gym and they say, you know what, I was thinking about doing it, but that guy's making sense. I think I might leave that shit alone. Because at the end of the day, when you're laying in that damn box, when you're in that morgue in the hospital, I mean, and your, your fucking parents come over, you know, they're like, fuck, that's my kid, you know, because you died, you died over this shit. I think I had to bury their kid. Like I said before, man, Dallas McCarver. I hate to keep bringing his name up. Rest in peace. No shots at the guy. Dallas McCarver is gone. Rich Piana is gone. You got guys on here like, um, what's his fucking name? The RX Muscle Palumbo. The guy who, you know, and, and um, Lee Priest and all these other guys he has interviewing on these shows. And they glorify this shit. They glorify this steroid use. You know what I'm saying? I'll say allegedly so they can't start complaining and crying. But we all see it. You know? I don't know. I don't want. I don't want to make this video a big rant. You know, ethics. You know, like I say, where the fuck are the morals? Where are they at? They're gone. No one gives a shit anymore. It's all about can I make a buck? That's it. At the expense of any and everyone. Who cares? You gonna pay me for this shit? Here, I'll sell you this shit. That's what a lot of this stuff is. Shit. But that's all I want to say, people. Just you know. Just spark the minds of those out there who are wise enough to heed warnings when they are given. So, uh, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, and all that good shit. Because you know I'm going to stay flexing and talking shit. You know, I don't want to talk too much shit in this video. You know, I don't want to make everything about the bitch-ass low-level haters out here. I go in there. Right, fuck them. <laughs> so, with all that said. <clears throat> Ooh, shit, motherfucker. Goddamn. I think if the Hulk walked in there right now, it'd be trouble, trouble. <laughs> like Hulk smash. I mean, I get a bit of my. <clears throat> Ooh, feed them lefts and rights. Yeah, all right, enough flexing and talking shit. Listen, people, get to the gym. <laughs> Do work. <laughs> Muscle up. Every squad like hoes fully eradicate my foes. My lyrics explode on contact. Came in you hoes. Who else but mama's only son? Put the phony niggas in the club. Say my name, watch bitches come. Now fire when ready, stay watching now.